I'm majorly going to be teaching us how to play the fountain style and um, how to play along with the bass guitar. And at times when I play an original bass guitar, I do not always have to split my piano. I do not always have to split my piano, so I play the way it is. I don't try to, to split, I just play like that because I enjoy those tunes from the piano itself. So I will be giving you some insights on playing songs like this. So I'll drop a link to the original video of it. As you can see, I was trying to sing along with the original song, which is not easy. <laughs> so I, I just wanted us to get like the feel of, you know, how pro is going. And I made that look too, if you're interested in the look, as we did free. So, the first song there was uh, like I remember when I was still on uh, uh, when I was still coming up then I was in home, local music school like that. Uh, there's this guy usually go and make to teach me. You know, as at that time it was praise that was always ringing, you know, concerts and the rest. Different pianists are coming to the church and they're playing a lot of things and there's this guy teaching me, he's just he's always teaching me worship and I'm like I told him. This worship you are teaching me, I'm not enjoying it though. Like, teach me all those your praise, all those your when you play. Now, there's a way he play, he plays praise. And I was more interested in that than learning worship songs. So he made me understand that those songs that are turn praise songs, they were one to worship before they become praise songs. So why not learn them in that worship form? Mm -hmm. So it was like, why not learn those songs in their worship form and see if you will not be able to play them as praise later on? So I was like, really, I think that was a good idea. So what I mean is, the first song here now is. Um, all my life you have been faithful, all my life you have been so, so good. Blah, blah, blah. Let me bring in my card. So at first, you, should, you would want to learn how to play that song as a worship first. You want to learn the progression in and out before you can start doing things as when you are playing praise. So, I have to play that song now as worship, I will play something like it. that song like this first but when it's time to play that praise you don't play like that in praise it is fast and you don't have time to start you can still use your interesting chords but most times in praise you want to use inversions and use chords the way they are so what i mean is for this same thing I'm trying to play but I remove a lot of notes because this time around I know how to leave space for the bass guitar. Imagine you are playing and the bass, the bass guitar just walk, walks in with his bass and connect everything. You will not have a problem with me. Why? Because I do not tamper with this part of the keyboard majorly. I'm playing my piano piano part. And so, if I were to play that song, let me just give us the progression of that song. I'm just saying, learn songs as worship first, so that when it's time for praise, you can do perfectly well. So, let's go. So, 
have on this video I'm going to be breaking down those two of the songs. So it is your comments that will make me break for that song. If not, it's just the half half video here. It is those my personal studio that I'll make full video and send to but if you guys comment here and you are interested in things like this in any key, we will know we majorly play on these keys. These are I've never hardly hear somebody play on D or play on all those other keys. So any key you play on out of this ball, just drop it in the comment section. Then I'll do it on those keys. So we have let's play the loop so you can hear how we do this. So we have Vamp songs like this, you need to listen to songs where they are vamping also. And um, you need to listen to more of the song. The secret is in listening to the song. In listening more to the song, now use your ear. Because you are a pianist, filter out the piano part and just listen to what the piano is doing. Don't worry, it will come. But having said that, I'm going to show us how I create my vamping. Time, the bumping comes from um, inspiration, it comes from um, the loop, the feel of the song. At times, when there's no loop and the drummer is playing what I don't understand, I just drop the chords because I can't bump. But the loop is tight, it's locked, you can do a lot of things on it. That's why the loop is always a good idea. So, oh my man, so this is the first chord. I think I'll have to play the loop before I can bump this song. Let's see. Singing, 
not learning from my own life, not come up with it. I heard somebody play. So I heard what he was doing. I know he's real. Me, that's the chord. Me and Ray. But there's a way he's bumping it. There's a way he's it's working and that's what I do. So singing on to the Lord. Singing about reading most of the time a lot of persons did not learn reading and a lot of persons learned reading the reading just it came to them and um, they were able to deliver so what i mean is when you listen to this song i will drop the link of this original song the only reason why i have to sing and not play along with the original song is because of the to copyright strike and release content that's the only reason why i did it maybe i'll come up, i'll link it to my instagram where i will play it along with the song so you hear the song, hear what they are playing in the song itself, then you know where that idea is coming from. The more you listen to this song, the more you sound like it. Alright, so I do not want to have to be too long because majorly these are things that I teach one on one. You understand? One on one and I watch you practice and I ask you to, you know, make your brain busy, work something out. Why can you are sitting down? But for my online students, you can get to enjoy that. Uh, I, have, I can send you limited, unlimited video. But now we are close to like 20 minutes, and I have to edit this video and cut out some impact. Talking too much. Let's go. So, uh, then um, which other parts? So that's pretty everything. So it is your how you see the video, this video that would make me do more of this. Because if I do not receive positive um, reply from you guys, I can just keep making videos like that. I know that you still, some persons will still see it and make use of it, but I want to make sure I'm giving you guys what you want. So in your Nigeria worship or praise, anything that you hear, send it to me or we'll work on it. Alright, see you in another lesson. Drop a positive comment. If you don't subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about the channel. Make video requests. If I want to play something for you. That particular thing you want me to play for you, I'm actually be learning it in the process. So, see you guys on.